I'm Trisha Kent, and I'm a member of the Material Advantage Club. This is the rest of the club. We're from RPI in Troy, New York. Welcome. My name is Andy Detour, and I'm a material scientist here at GE's Research Center, beautiful Miskiuna, New York. Uh, you guys are all RPI students, right? Yes. Okay. So I was once an RPI student. I uh, got my undergrad degree in material science. Graduated in 2003. So I know a little bit about where you're coming from. Um, I just want to start off by saying, you know, congratulations to all of you for taking advantage of uh, this opportunity to come see what happens in a place like this. Um, I think it's very important that you're involved in the materials advantage society. So that's really cool. Hi, I'm Rachel Farabee. I'm a junior in materials at RPI and part of Material Advantage. And today my favorite part was learning about SOFC because I do undergraduate research in an SOFC lab at RPI. So can anyone give me a, a definition of electro deposition? One sentence on what it is. You give the potential higher than needed for the material, so you reverse the thing and then you get you know the metal from the solution and you know you just you know, cover the, uh, the material that you want to cover. Exactly. Hi, I'm Lee Yun Ren, uh, Rebecca, and I'm from RPI as a, a graduate student. And uh, I'm today to visit a global research center, and it's been my dream to work here. So that's what we're doing in electro deposition. We're reducing metal ions in solution in the liquid, which in this case is this green stuff here. It looks like Kool-Aid. Uh, and we're reducing that those metal ions, those metal cations, at the surface of the cathode to coat the part whatever the metal is in solution. Right? So it's a very nice technology because it's so flexible. Right? Whatever you put in the solution, whatever your metal ions you have <laughs> in the solution, you can plate them on the, on the surface of the cathode. So for GE, the cathode might be uh, a part. It might be uh, a shaft or a blade or a gear right? or uh, anything. Right? Uh, my name is Kerem Goran and I'm working with Paul Monada Composites and today we're about the OLEDs and plated nickel on brass. Um, I'm a graduate student from uh, RPI. Um, I'm a materials uh, student. And I'm so excited to be here on the G Global Research Center. Um, if you have both um, electrodes to be um, conductive, could you turn that off? Thank you. Actually, you can have a uh, uh, transparent device. Basically, when it's off, it looks like a glass, but when it's on, uh, it's a lighting device. Okay, could you turn it back on? So if you uh, turn off the device, it just looks like a uh, glass, a piece of glass. So you can consider you know, the wheel.